What is going on everybody? It's Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about three ways that you can invest your money in your 20s. And I wanted to start out this video by saying your 20s, the time period from 20 to 30 is the absolute best time that you can start investing because you have time on your side. And time is the number one biggest asset for investing because A, you can use and utilize compound interest to make even more money on top of your earnings in investing. And B, you can invest in more risky investments, right? You can start, let's say, a risky business in your early 20s. You can invest in marijuana stocks, some penny stocks that could potentially explode and triple, quadruple, 10x your earnings, right? And if you lose and if you fail in these investments, it's not too big of a deal because like we said, you still have that time on your side and you still have a lot of time to recover. So in this video, guys, we're going to be talking about three ways that I personally invest in my 20s and that you should be investing in your 20s. Hit that like button and let's get started. So the first way you can invest in your 20s is by starting that business you've always wanted to start. I know a lot of people out there have an entrepreneurial spirit. They've always wanted to start something on their own and this is the time for you to start. Like I said a couple of minutes ago, you know, this is the time to take risks. Don't always just go for the safe option, you know, straight out of college. Maybe go to a nine to five job right out of college, taking the safe route. That might not always be the best thing for you to do, especially if you're business minded, if you have an entrepreneurial spirit, and quite frankly, you're good at selling things. So what you could potentially do, guys, is start that business, whether it be an online business. I know a lot of people out there, you know, are getting into online business. It's kind of the sexy thing nowadays, you know, whether it be drop shipping, you know, Amazon FBA, starting a YouTube channel, you know, maybe consulting, you know, with affiliate marketing, running Facebook ads, Google ads to other people's products, trying to sell them through click funnels, you know, landing pages, stuff like that. This is something you can do in your 20s, early 20s, mid 20s, even late 20s when you still have that time on your side and you can take these risks. And you can also start you know, other businesses that don't necessarily have to be online, right? I've seen people, you know, start supplement companies in store. And of course, they also sell online. I've seen other people, I have friends personally that have started apps, you know, food truck apps, some, you know, other apps like dating apps, like stuff like that, guys. There's a bunch of different markets out there, especially if you're knowledgeable on these markets that you can go out and penetrate and potentially make an ROI return on investment that's extremely higher than any other investment vehicle that we're going to be talking about in this video. But of course, starting a business is definitely the most risky thing we're going to be talking about in this video, which is why I pretty much started out with that in this video. So guys, if you're in your 20s, you have an entrepreneurial spirit, you can sell. Don't be scared to take that plunge and start that business, right? If you have an emergency account, let's say you have an emergency fund of five, ten thousand dollars This gives you some money to fall back on, even if you have more than that, right? Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars This gives you some money to pay off your expenses while you get your business off the ground. Let's say you have $5,000 to start this business, you'll be able to slowly build that business, get it off the ground while still paying off your expenses with your emergency fund or savings account that you've been building up over the years. And I know a lot of people out there might not have that much savings. So I would recommend, you know, saving up as much money as possible if you do want to start a business, if that's really one of your goals, so you can have money to fall back on. And guys, entrepreneurship, being an entrepreneur, cash is king. You need as much capital as possible. Without capital, you're going to die in the game of entrepreneurship. 
So the second way you can invest in your 20s, this is a bit more safe than the first one, is by investing and contributing to a Roth IRA or a 401k retirement plan, guys. And these two plans are quite different. And to start out talking about the 401k, this is an employee-sponsored plan. Meaning, if you're employed at, let's say, a job you're working for, a big bank, or something like that, right? A lot of these companies are able to match whatever your contributions into this retirement account every single year. Some don't, but some match whatever you end up contributing to this 401k. And right now, guys, in 2019, the max you can contribute is $19,000 per year. And if you're over 50 years old, guys, you can contribute an extra $6,000. And let me make sure you guys understand this one thing. 401ks, you're not paying income tax on the money you're putting in until you take that money out when you're 70 years old. And that's the main difference between the 401k and the Roth IRA, which what we are about to talk about, right? The Roth IRA is another investment product, another investment vehicle. But the main difference here with the Roth IRA is that you can contribute up to $7,000 a year if you're over 50. If you're under 50, you can contribute up to $6,000 per year. But you're paying taxes on that money you're contributing every single year. But the main difference here is you're not paying taxes when you're withdrawing that money when you're 59 and a half years old. So one product, the 401k, you can take your money out at 70, but you're paying taxes at the end. With the Roth IRA, you're not paying taxes at the end, but you're paying taxes on the con contributions that you're making on a yearly basis, up to $7,000 if you're over 50, if you're under 50, $6,000. So the second way, guys, to becoming a millionaire, probably the safest way to becoming a millionaire by investing early on in your life is by investing in a 401k if you're employed, if your employee matches that, or a Roth IRA, let's say if your employer doesn't have a 401k, you can do a Roth IRA, traditional IRA. There's a bunch of other investment products, retirement products out there. But the two that I personally like are the 401k and the Roth IRA. So the third way you can invest in your 20s is by starting your own personal stock market portfolio, right? Separate from the 401k, separate from the Roth IRA, because you can also obviously invest in stocks and mutual funds and index funds in those plans, but you can't take that money out for another 30, 40 years if you're in your 20s. If you want to have money that you can take out without having a penalty, you should be starting a stock market portfolio in your 20s consisting of growth stocks, a ton of growth stocks that have potential to 5x, double, maybe even 10x if you do invest in some penny stocks that have a lot of upside or some marijuana stocks that we've seen literally just in 2019 double in price alone. You know, this is a very good option for you. Not only can you invest in growth stocks that can double, triple, 5x your investment, but you can also invest invest in some value companies that pay dividends so you can take advantage of compound interest which is pretty much making money on top of the interest on top of the money on top of the interest you keep making money especially if you're flooding money into your portfolio buying more dividend paying companies and buying even more of that stock with the dividends from that stock right that's pretty much what compound interest is and if you're doing this from your 20s guys by 50 you're gonna have a crap ton of money if you did do the research if you did invest properly if you did manage your funds correctly right so the third way guys diversifying the stock market portfolio separate from your IRA separate from your 401k that consists of a lot of growth stocks because again when we're 20 25 28 
we can take those risks of having a more growth, aggressive growth portfolio, but we also want to have some value stocks that can bring us dividend, that can bring us some passive income that we can therefore invest back into the stock, invest back into the company, or just take out as income and buy stuff, right? Pay for our expenses, you know, pay for our car payment, you know, our mortgage, or maybe another real estate property that we want to invest in, stuff like that, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video three ways to invest in your 20s start a business start that business you've always wanted to start set up that retirement account whether it's a Roth IRA 401k traditional IRA 403b whatever it may be and the third way guys start your own stock market portfolio even if you have a thousand dollars two thousand three thousand five thousand ten thousand dollars start that portfolio build it over time continue to funnel money into it reinvest those dividends and you'll have a ton of money in your 30s 40s and 50s guys so if you enjoyed this video feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new i'll catch you all in the next video peace out